So guys, this week's theme on Somebody Contortionist is, well, what I'm doing at least, is like eating in a contortion pose and talking about what goals I have with contortion in the future and what I, all I plan to do with it. So let's just get started. So I'm also going to be switching contortion poses throughout the video. So that's that. Since I'm not actually, no, not for you. Since I'm not actually using my feet yet, I'm not going to play the tiny my feet. But I'm definitely going to use the sanitizer right now because I was touching my feet. So this was actually given to me by a friend. Her name is, I don't know if I should say her name on here. But she's like super fun. And I have a lot of fun when I hang out with her. And she gave me this today and she said it was going to be good. So we're going to eat it today. So one question and stuff I get a lot with contortion is... How long have you been doing it? How long have you been doing contortion? And what I usually don't really know what to say, because I first did my first chest stand approximately eight years ago. But after that I was more focused on getting my cartwheels, the handstands more like controlled. So I didn't really mind it that much. This is really good. But I actually started getting more into it when I saw Sophie Gossie do on the stage again, I'm like, hey, I can do that. And that's when I really started realizing my levels of flexibility. And that brings me to my next question. I get a lot of, did you have to work with that flexibility or was it all natural? And a lot of it was natural, but also a ton of I had to work really hard for. Um, like my chest stand, I used to, I was always able to put my feet flat on the ground but barely be able to get my chin up. But now I can get my chin pretty far up, and I'm pretty proud of that. So, the next question that I get a lot of involving this kind of stuff is, will you teach me how to do it? And that's where I don't know what to say, because it's like kind of difficult to learn. You can definitely learn at any age, but it's a lot more difficult to learn when you're older only because your back has gotten used to you doing that stuff. It, your back has gotten used to you doing, just standing up straight and doing basic stuff. But if you have a very flexible back like Julie, she was always naturally flexible. But um, she also had to work for a lot of it. She was very naturally flexible and that's why she was able to do it so fast because she was always flexible but she didn't realize how flexible she was until she started really working for it. So if someone in public says, hey will you teach me how to do this? I would most likely say no either or nothing more than a split or a back bend. And now we're going to do another contortion pose. I think the next pose to do is just a regular chest stand. So let's do this. So what I want to do for that is this. No, let me do this. So the next couple things I'm gonna be answering are, well, telling you guys are what I wanna do with my contortion in the future. So basically, I really wanna join circus, but I would be traveling a lot, which I want to do. I love traveling. I don't get to do that much of it. So that's why I would want to do that. But then again, I would not get to see my family that often or friends. And I heard that can't be very good for you. But other than that, I really would want to do that because I feel like it would really be fun for me to do and only because I've been told by a lot of people I should do it. Um, I also want to perform at Little Things, and I've been wanting to do this for a while actually, is perform at like kids birthday parties, like legit like 10 and under, and do it for free because a lot of kids they want to have like huge party and like the parents don't really want to spend this money on like a little kids party. And I get that because it's just a birthday party, which don't get me wrong, birthday parties are really important. But doesn't mean you should go be spending like three hundred dollars or more on entertainment. 
That's why I'll be doing it for free. And it would also help them with their party and it would help me gain experience. Um, now just some contortion goals for the future. One thing I definitely want to be able to do is my full triple fold. I don't have it yet. It does not mean I won't get it in the future, which I really hope I do because I want to get my triple fold so badly. I have gotten very close though. I don't have any pictures though, but I will show you guys later in the video. One thing I also get asked a lot is who's your main inspiration? And a lot of, I know a lot of people right now would probably say, well, it's obviously Sophie Dossie. And yes, it did start out as Sophie Dossie, but now it is Julie because first off, she welcomed me to this channel because I got in. And when I got those news, I was like so happy. I'm like, oh my goodness. Because she thought I was best for the channel. And that made me so happy. And she like can improve one skill in the course of like two weeks. To me, that's like crazy. And she just has good flexibility altogether. It took Sophie Dossi is very skilled, but she's also 16, and Julie's only, I think, is either 14 or 15. Either way, she's all she's only been doing it for about a year, maybe even less, and she already has about her level of skill. And there's no hate to Sophie Dossi, because she's de definitely second on my list. But Julie right now is definitely my main one, because, like, when I first started doing hand balancing contortion, it was not good. I could not hold a handstand for more than, like, I don't know, it was either like five or three seconds. And then that's not even counting getting into the pose. That's just kicking it up. So it was not very pretty, like, at all. But I watched so many of her videos of just how to get more flexible, and that helped me achieve longer handstands, as you guys have seen. That was close. But, yeah, that's particularly that. Um, I really wanna get a higher chest stand. Like, I can get fairly high. I'm on a couch now too. This couch is very cushy, so. I'll show you guys later on the ground, but I can get fairly high. It's just she can get her head legit past her knees. Like, how many people in the world can do that? Not many. But I also want to get my middle splits. I've been working on them for a while, and I had them for a while. I did kind of give up because I honestly thought I was never going to get them. But I'm a lot closer now. So that's good news. Um, I also want to get my right split. I have my left split, not my right. Um, as for like tumbling slash acro, I want to get my side aerial at least. Because I recently got my back hands ring and I will show you guys in the next video. Because it's currently night and there's not really enough space in my house to do that. Plus, there's like a lot of breakable stuff in my house. So I probably won't want to do them in here anyway. Um, I also want to get my round off that can spring. I've been trying that one for a while too. Still haven't got it. Does not mean I won't though. Um. As for just on this channel, I'm sorry I've not been like sending in videos recently to be posted. And that's because at first I was sick and then it was like this whole thing with the coronavirus. I'm not using the coronavirus as an excuse because that would be really rude of me. No, 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 no access. This is my cat. She's like the fluffiest we have. We have two cats. Didn't you know? 
she's the fluffy though, she's also the youngest. But um... I've also not really had many ideas of what to do. But I got some ideas now, so you guys should be expecting more videos soon. Um... Well now I can't use that again, thanks Ninja. But... I also want to be focused more on my contortion. Recently I've been very distracted with other things and I really want to focus on the contortion right now. Because I feel like if I really focus all my attention on this, I could really get somewhere with it. Really anyone can, like if someone focused on art for a really long time, they can get like, become a famous artist. I already think that Julie, she's already been going places, I think she's going to be somewhere like this year. Somewhere big because she's really talented. And I just really want to be focused more on it anyway because contortion is my passion. Um, I really want to grow up and be able to be known as something with contortion. And probably what you guys don't know about me is I love haircutting as well. I've been into it since I was little, but um, I really haven't been able to do it much because I don't have proper scissors. Once they get those, hopefully I'll be able to do it. Um, I also really want to just thank everybody for everything because like when I first entered this channel, I'm like, oh my goodness, I hope people who watch these videos like it. I hope they like don't think I'm weird or stuff like that. But as like I watched how like I had to admit, a lot of times I watched the videos and I doubted posting it, but I sent it anyway. And actually, one of the videos is already at 1k views. I'm, I'm actually really happy about that. I posted it a while ago, but I think the highest liked video is I think 49 or 50 likes. And that was like a huge achievement for me. And I was just so happy I had gotten there. And I could not have gotten there if it weren't for you guys, so I just want to thank you for that. Also, thank you for halfway to 1k followers. Um, really big to me, I think, everyone else on this channel. It's like really appreciated, you guys. I don't think you guys will ever know how happy you guys make me. Um, also, once we do hit 1k, I have a really big idea for it so if you get me in 1k i'll be doing some really fun stuff for that video so back to just sort of like goal stuff i really want to be able to hold my handstand for one minute by the end of next year and i really hope i get there because one thing I notice I do is like once I get into it, I start like bending my arms and sinking my shoulders and I have to not do that because if I don't do that, I could hold a handstand for I think that long my goal. Also, another sort of like contortion goal I guess is to um, get merch if Julie ever puts it out. Like she puts it out, I'm buying it, hopefully I have money for it. Because if I don't, I'm going to have to be sitting there just watching the sales go up before I know everything sold out and then I missed out. Hopefully though, I'll have money for it. Because if she ever puts merch out, I'm buying it because I, I want her merch. Um, I also want to fix my teardrop and get my needle. Those are my contortion goals. Also to get... Hands to the canes. I thought I wanted them for my birthday, but it's like April in Minnesota, and with this whole thing with the virus, I don't really want to order anything right now. Just because of that, once this is all like kind of like dying out, I might, but just because of this, I don't want to order anything because I don't know where they have been. My dad might make them for me though, and if he does that, that'd be pretty much awesome. So, I also want to be able to, like, 
not be afraid to do it in public because a lot of times when I do like forum stretches in public I usually try to find a place where people aren't that way I don't get called to show off because one thing with being a contortionist or really anything artist, dancer, cheerleader, gymnast if you do like the littlest thing like even the splits you are automatically considered a show off in someone's eyes and that is just not even fair because if you're just doing simple stretches or showing your like practice sketching in someone's eyes you will be considered a show off and that kind of hurts considering you just want to be you wherever you go so that's basically my goals and now I guess I'm just going to show you guys some of contortion poses that I want to fix and critique. So let's do this. <laughs> 